At the time of my first visit to the Rome Zoo, I could never imagine that only 20 years later I would be a zoologist and I would be working in that place, having the chance to keep in my arms the cubs of the same bears that I liked so much. I've always loved animals since I was a child. And I was not only interested in cats and dogs. I used to spend hours observing ant colonies. And my first pet was a cricket that I'd found in the garden of my house and that I tried to rear, but not with great success. So no wonder, when grown up, I have reared my human cub with ease together with gorillas, lions and tigers. When some years later, I started to work at the Museum of Zoology of Rome, at the beginning, I thought that the museum's stuffed specimens were too distant from my beloved living animals and too far from my vocation for nature conservation. But I was absolutely wrong. Each museum's object tells a special story that can play an important role in the survival of a species in the wild. Museums are meeting place for experts. You can share experiences and deliver messages to a large audience. Studying museum spacements, I could better understand animal biology and needs. So, I've continued to cooperate with researchers in the field. I frequently looked for bears in their habitats, getting up early in the morning, waiting for hours, enjoying nature, mountains, plants, the snow. And sometimes I've been rewarded by the sudden view of a bear moving in the wood or crossing large mountain plains. In these moments, I feel a deep happiness, the same happiness of that time at the zoo. Bears have inspired my life, and I have met them. My dreams have come true.